Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how to approach girls when they're in a group. And if you go out to a bar or a nightclub, and even in the street in coffee shops, pretty much everywhere, girls are not going to be on their own. It's more likely in the daytime, but in the nighttime they're likely to be out with friends. Now guys sometimes wait until a girl goes to the toilet or her friends leave her and then they approach, but this is kind of a weak thing to do, it's not the best. It is actually best to approach them as soon as you see them and um, just work with the group dynamic because when you approach for example three girls you're going to be seen as a more confident guy than the guy that hesitates and waits around to catch one girl on his own. There are a few different ways to do it. The first thing that you might do is you might try something non-verbal. So we don't have a lot of space to work with here but if we were maybe 10 meters apart what I might do is I might try and catch one of the girl's eyes and I might have a little wave at her or I might catch her eye and raise my drink or I might catch her eye and I'm looking and I'm saying oh I like your earrings or your hair or pick something but I'm saying it all non-verbally it's from five or ten meters away what I'm looking for then is just a smile and a positive response like I got in this case and then I can just go in straight for that girl and say hey how are you doing how have you been like this and I can approach her and talk to her so that would be my favorite thing it doesn't matter if it's a group of 10 girls 15 girls 3 girls really doesn't matter if you've set things up non-verbally you don't really have to worry about the friends. However, a lot of the time you're going to need to do something verbal. In that case, um, you might approach and you could use an opener, uh, something like this one, where I'd say, hey, are you girls talking about me? No. Well, why not? <laughs> and you say something like that, something very simple, it's likely to make them laugh and it gets into a conversation. Then you can introduce yourself, you can ask some general questions that are good for a group. You can say, how do you girls know each other? You can say, you seem like the bossy one and you're the, the naughty one, whatever it is. You can do things that will make them giggle and laugh and look at each other. But again, it takes a lot of energy to talk to three girls and it's difficult to really progress things. So after a minute or so of that, what you want to do is you want to think about which girl you like out of the three or four or however many it is and then you want to turn it into a private conversation with just that girl. So you might say something like, oh I like your dress, is, it, is this silk, it's really nice and you just talk to, you just break it from a conversation of three to a conversation of just two. You give your eye contact just to her from this point. In the beginning you were spreading your eye contact between the three girls, now you're only giving it to this one and instead of speaking loudly to all the girls you've now lowered it a bit and you're only speaking to this one. For a few seconds, these girls are going to be looking at you as well, kind of expecting you to reinitiate the conversation with them. But after, I don't know how long, 10, 15 seconds, they're going to start to talk amongst each other and you would have broken off and you'd have this girl to yourself. Because you've talked to these girls already and they like you, they're not going to drag their friend away. So it's a nice way to do things, to transition from the group to this girl on her own. One other situation that you might have to deal with is when you're talking to one girl and you see another girl or a guy or basically some other friend coming in to join the action. Now a big mistake that I see guys make is that they kind of just stand there and the friend comes in and they let the friend and the girl they're interested in have this conversation and they're kind of stuck there you know on the sidelines. It's especially bad when you travel because you might find that they're talking a language that you don't even understand. They might be um, speaking your language but talking about private business between them. Anytime when you're kind of just standing there waiting for a conversation to finish, it's a bad thing. So if you're talking to your girl and someone comes in to, and you see that they're going to interrupt things, you want to take commands and you can say, oh hey I'm Richard, how do you know Margaret or whoever it is and you're the one that controls the interaction. 
um, instead of letting them just have a conversation amongst themselves. So guys, that is it. That's the basics of approaching a group of girls. You can do it non-verbally, verbally, and the key thing is to talk for a moment and then transition to that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the girl that you're interested in. At that point, of course, you can also say, hey, we're gonna go and get a drink. We'll be back, um, we'll be back in a minute. Don't worry, I'll look after her. And you can take her away. You can say, oh, I like this song. Let's go and dance. And you can take her away like that. So there are ways that you can get her away from the friend. And if you've already had that nice group interaction in the first place, they're more likely to be cool with it. So there you have it guys, how to approach a group. Uh, give it a go, let me know how it works and as usual, let me know if you've got any questions and I'll be answering them personally.